What's up guys, Marlon back here with another news video and this time we have a lot of stuff to go over. So we're going to start off here with Nintendo likely in the process of adding music to streaming services. So remember, uh, Nintendo has been cracking down on game music on music channels if you've been uploading their just raw music or even you know we know already that a lot of their music in their games and whatnot gets claimed but they're cracking down on that and a lot of channels are getting shutting down getting copyright strikes and so on and so forth and now we are finding out that nintendo is like dropping things on spotify and apparently there is a super mario 64 uh, pretty much soundtrack that is uploaded to Spotify right now and you know this could spark interest for Nintendo to basically you know release their soundtracks on Spotify on iTunes and I think that would be really dope because I really love a lot of Nintendo's soundtracks especially for games like Super Mario 3D World uh, you know Mario 64 uh, Mario Kart I mean the list goes on and on Nintendo have some of the best uh, soundtracks ever and so they have the Super Mario 64 radio right now on Spotify and this is insane because I wasn't really expecting this to actually happen and the fact that they're actually going out there and putting the hammer down on channels because you know it's copyrighted material you can't make no money off of that and everything that's why a lot of people just go on ahead and do like remixes to a lot of Nintendo's um, you know best soundtracks that they have out there but this is really interesting guys to know that Nintendo is just dropping their soundtracks on Spotify and hopefully they might have some stuff on iTunes and you know maybe SoundCloud I don't think they're probably gonna drop anything on SoundCloud but maybe iTunes and Spotify I think maybe those two are going to be the main things moving forward so what do you guys think about Nintendo you know kind of dropping their soundtracks on on, you know streaming services leave your thoughts down in the comment section down below all right guys let's get to the next part of the news video here so this is quite interesting so power stone director wants to see a series revival on the nintendo switch and i think this is really dope i mean power stone is one of my favorite fighting games of all time like literally it just brings that arcadic feel uh, to your bones when it comes to fighting games and this is really good man because if they can figure out a way to revive the series on the Nintendo Switch I think it will sell very extremely well because that is a classic game I mean classic old school fighting game you know that arcadic experience where it's showing you that press start uh, button thing and it's just like yo let's go let's go I'm ready to go you can pick up items you can transform you could do so many cool things I mean it, it was just really really good so I think if there's a way that Capcom could try to revive this even the producer basically state that you know hey a lot of people has been hitting them up on Twitter hey are you gonna bring back Power Stone it would be dope if you could bring it on the Nintendo Switch and yeah I think the Nintendo Switch would be the perfect system to bring power stone on the go so what do you guys think I mean the last time we actually touched you know power stone at least for me was on the PlayStation portable you know the power stone collection I think that was just really amazing at the time let me know what you guys think about the possibility of power stone coming to the Nintendo switch leave your thoughts down in the comment section down below and all right guys let's get to the semi to the last part of the news video here so THQ Nordic is blowing my mind so this is insane right now gamescom is just around the corner and so with their q1 financial report they mentioned that they're going to be uh releasing a new core saints row game i love saints row ever since the original ever since the one that came out in 2013 which was i believe saints row 4 and it's been a long time 
So the Volition is really working hard right now. I think they are actually deep in development with Saints Row um, 5. I think that's what it's going to be called. Also, there are talks about Time Splitters. Holy cow. Time Splitters is one of my favorite first person shooters of all time. I, that game was just so good. So the fact that we're getting a new core Saints Row a game that's in development, we're getting time splitters, and there's even talks about Dead Island 2. So insane stuff there. I mean, this is a lot of games that we can expect from THQ Nordic, and I'm just blown away because you know what, Darksiders 3, is definitely really really good and something really important to note last year deep silver acquired the much loved time splitters ip which was really good to know and they are also uh announced that they were going to bring back one of the series creators which is steve ellis which was like you know one of the original um guys behind time splitters and oh my god man this this is gonna be really good you know they're already talking about a new metro game uh that they're gonna come out with you know they have the new spongebob game Darksiders, Genesis, Destroy All Humans. I mean, they're the publisher to actually look at right now because they're just dropping bombs left and right. And I know, you know, the Saints Row uh, series, you know, has been good over the years. I remember they released the Gat Out of Hell in 2015. That was really good. And then Agents of Mayhem in 2017. And then they put it out on Switch. I mean, it was just a awesome experience there for a lot of people that hey look if you can't play grand theft auto 5 or can't play grand theft auto, i don't see why you couldn't but saints row was like really really right there you know on the grand theft auto so what do you guys think about all of this goodness from thq leave your thoughts down in the comment section down below all right guys we're at the end and part of the news video here so this is quite interesting and so a hat in time officially confirmed for october 18th on switch so this was following today's amazon listing for the humble bundle and gears for breakfast have officially confirmed that a hat in time is coming to switch on october 18th now those who buy the 3d platformer will get a seal the deal downloadable content but it will need to be downloaded separately from the eShop local split screen co-op will also be included marking that the first time this is available on console so this is really good the game looks amazing a very good 3d platformer you know of course it reminds me of a lot of other games that's in this vein of, of style of gameplay but it looks really good and so let me know if you guys are going to pick this up i think it's a very good deal for what they're actually offering you know with the downloadable content i always applaud um, you know game developers for including DLC with their games especially at launch I think it just adds tremendous value there so the, all right guys that wraps up today's uh, news video hopefully you guys enjoyed it make sure you guys subscribe and hit that bell and we're still working on that Joy-Con boys album I'm telling you it's going to be fire once it comes out we're gonna be releasing two tracks this year full album comes out in 2020 in june so it's going to be pretty interesting guys once it comes out and i hope you guys support it all right guys please have yourself a great night peace